This is an overview of how to get into your IATSE National Benefits Fund website. This is where contributions from employers go to pay for your health insurance and to contribute to your pension. Note the website is IATSENBF.org. When you come to the website, if you have not ever registered with the website, you need to do that first. As you look down the page, it's already highlighted that you are a participant. You'll need next to enter in your participant ID number, which you can often find on your Blue Cross Blue Shield card or on the quarterly statements for your health insurance. The option also is to give the last four of your social security number. It's important that you use the email address that you have been using for IATSE with our local and with the international. This will become your login. Of course, your first name, your last name, your date of birth. You'll be asked to create a password, minimum of eight characters, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number, total of eight characters. Of course, you'll have to enter it again to confirm that it is correct. You'll have the opportunity, as required, to select a security question. For example, in what city or town was your first job? You'll answer that question here. Next, you'll move into a security check, which basically is to make sure that this is not a robot trying to register in. As you see above in that caption, type in the correct number as seen without a space, the next word, noting that capitals are required. You will then have the opportunity to submit. In this case, since we did not submit all of the information, we're getting an error message. When the information has been put in correctly, it will automatically go to the secure login where your email and your password will appear. It is then that you're able to submit that information and gain access to the IATSE National Benefits Fund. For those of you who have an account already, you'll be able to log in with your email address. And your password. Click on submit. and then you'll see the terms and conditions. This is often confusing because you really do need to come all the way down to the bottom of the page. This will happen each and every time you log in. You must accept the terms and conditions before you can gain access to your information. This is your dashboard. The information regarding your health and welfare, pension contributions appear right there. Additionally, at various times, you will receive email notices of information relevant to your coverage or your pension. Always check these messages for important information. Within the health and welfare coverage, it is going to tell you what your current coverage is for the quarter 
Remember, your insurance is quarterly, every three months. It will tell you the coverage type that you have with your family, C1, C2, C3, C4, or a medical reimbursements program. With the medical reimbursement, it will tell you how much money is available for you to submit receipts for reimbursement, and you are able to then access forms to make that application. The upcoming coverage for the next three months is key because you always will receive a question in the statement as to whether you want to maintain your current coverage or downgrade it. This tells you the amount of money that has been contributed by employers within this period of time. This gives you a little bit of advance notice as to how much money will be available to pay for the next quarter of contributions. Your health care contributions history allows you to take a look at what employers have been contributing to your account. Currently, in the start of this year, there are none to be shown However, you can access previous year contributions and when looking at these contributions, this is an important area. Notice right here this sidebar. This is how you scroll through all of the employers. With each employer, you will be able to see the work period and the date that they sent the money to IATSE International as contribution to your health insurance. You should be checking this at least once a month to be sure that employers are making contributions in a timely manner. If they are not, it affects the amount of money in your CAP account. When you find that a certain employer has not been making contributions, please advise Local 8 Office. In your health and welfare, if you have a dependent, a spouse or children, you can check to make sure that they are appropriately listed. This is important because they are then covered by your health insurance and in some cases dental and vision. They are also to be listed if you are using medical reimbursement so that you can submit bills for their health care for reimbursement. Another important area here to check is your beneficiaries. If you have C2 coverage and now C3 coverage, there is term life insurance as part of the benefit. In the event that you were to die, money would be paid out of the term life insurance to the person that you designate as the beneficiary. Spouse, perhaps brother, also for your pension. It's important to note who would receive those funds should you meet an untimely death. For medical reimbursement, if you are using that program, it will show you how much money you have available to submit bills for reimbursement. If you're not sure if the medical care itself is reimbursable, you can open up and see all of the medical expenses that are covered.
when you're ready to submit your bills, the claim form is available. Should be printed out following the instructions and mailed in or emailed in as scanned attachments. You can check on existing claims as well in order to see when payment will be received. Keeping tabs on your health and welfare is important. Making sure that you have coverage ID cards, keeping updates as far as dependents and beneficiary. For example, you may have a new child come into your family. That child will need to be added to your policy. In this section here, additional health and welfare information is available. Your benefits at a glance, in many cases you're not sure if something is covered by the plan, and you can gain access to the entire National Health and Welfare Plan C Benefits at a Glance booklet. You can also check on a summary of benefits and coverage and the summary plan descriptions which are both larger booklets giving you deep detail and answers that you will want to have when making decisions. Forms and documents are available here as well. And again, with regard to birth of a child, change in marital status, or especially moving, keeping the correct mailing address and information is critical to receiving information from the National Benefits Fund, and you should always make it a point to keep them updated here. The Health and Benefit Fund is your benefit fund.